Welcome back, my wasted youth. This is Rev taking you through Pokemon Special Pikachu Edition. When last we left our intrepid hero, we had finally defeated the Elite Four of Pokemon League, becoming the very best, like no one ever was. And then we found out we still had one more trainer we had to deal with. Yeah, somebody beat us here before. Now, before you take a single step, you are stuck right here. Do not move past this point until you've healed up your Pokemon. One more step is going to start the next fight. You don't want that yet. Now, in our last fight with Lance, he had a Pokemon that we had not seen yet. And I ran out of time to show you its bio, so let's take a look at that right now. Dragonite is a dragon and flying type that evolves from Dragonair at level 55, by which point it has already learned Rap, Leer, Thunder Wave, Agility, Slam, and Dragon Rage. The only move that Dragonite actually learns is Hyper Beam at level 60. Now, even though this one is a dual type, well, one of those types is dragons, which are only really effective against dragons. Yeah, I know. It is a disadvantage to ice, dragon, and rock. As a dragon, it has an offensive advantage to dragon. As a flying type, it has an advantage to grass, fighting, and bug. It's presumed that Dragonite's name came from the two words dragon and knight. Okay, so now I have healed everybody up and I have switched the party around. Do that before you go off screen. Once you go off screen, well, the fight starts. There's no way around this. Ah, uh, yeah, I know, you're looking forward to seeing, and yeah, I'm going to keep you sharp. You know what? I don't even mind. I've beaten you, what, 8, 9, 20 times by now? This is nothing new. You're the league champion. Well, I know exactly what that means. It means I've only got to beat you one more time. You're the most powerful trainer in the world? Give it five minutes. Yeah, that's right. I'm telling them. See, is this going to be a fight? Oh yeah, Gary is going to bring everything, and he is not going to be a pushover. This is probably the toughest fight you're going to have. And don't let this whole Razor Leaf wipes out Sand Slash in one shot fool you. This is the only time this is going to work. Every other one of his five other Pokemon are going to be massive. Hey, look, it's that level 59 Alakazam. Well, I'm going to bring in Lapras for two reasons. First off, every Pokemon that we have got is going to be slower than his Alakazam. So why not take a Pokemon and throw it in that can actually withstand at least two shots from Alakazam? And in this case, yeah, it's very possible. Now, the second reason I'm bringing in, Alak or, uh, bringing in Lapras is Ice Beam has the potential to freeze Lapras solid. So in this case, we are hoping, I mean really hoping, that it will do just that. Now, it didn't, unfortunately. And since we have got to go to a max potion on Lapras, that is going to give um, Alakazam two different turns to use Recover. But if we can hit one more Ice Beam, we may be able to completely wipe out Alakazam, and that would help a lot. So he's going to hit us with Psychic. It is going to do some damage, some serious damage. But we may be able to get out of this, and we can't. That's okay. What we are going to do is bring in Pidgeot, and we are just going to fly. So, Psybeam, it may take us completely out. I wouldn't actually be surprised if it did. Psybeam, oh, well, hey, that's great. So, Alakazam uses Recover, that's actually fine. Since he's beyond the halfway point, he isn't going to get all of it back. And Pidgeot has got a strong enough um, uh, attack that he's able to hit it. So now we just have to hope that that didn't happen. Well, too bad, it happened. Can Charizard actually hit with a Slash? And here's that Recover that I don't like. And that's okay. So, is Charizard able to Slash, and how much damage does Slash do? Well, looks like it does pretty well. So let's try it again. Psybeam is going to mess us up. I know, man, it just does. So here comes Slash, and can we take it? Yes, we can. Beautiful. Hey, 
That was way too long, but it worked. Hey, man, what is... No, we know that already. So here is Slash on his level 61 executor. And this could be bad, too. See, ideally what we want to use is Flamethrower. But even if we used Flamethrower, it's still going to take, oh, except for that, three shots. So what we did is we hit with a uh, Slash first, and that way the two Flamethrowers will end up just ripping right through this thing. Hey, that's great. But now what? Okay, we are going to keep Charizard in here as a sacrifice. Yeah, I don't like doing it either, but I need, absolutely need, Lapras full. See, what's going to end up happening is Charizard is going to take the hit. And Charizard is going to get knocked out by Aura Beam. Then what we do is we bring in Lapras. And Lapras is going to take as much damage as Cloyster is willing to give out. But in return, it's going to give up a Confuse Ray. And that being the case, we may actually be able to, to get through Cloyster enough so that we can bring in Pikachu and have Pikachu just thunder twice. And that should be able to take care of Cloyster. But Cloyster right now is strong enough that if Pikachu went in without Cloyster being confused, um, it would be wiped out completely. Uh, it isn't that Pikachu is bad, well, yeah, it is that Pikachu is bad, but it's also that Cloyster is just that strong. So, Confuse No More, Aura Beam, and just like that, Pikachu is unconscious, and there's nothing we can- Hey, perfect! Just like that, my word, I was not expecting that at all. Okay. Well, now what do we do? Because here's the problem. Ninetales is actually going to do some really big damage. Well, to Pikachu, anyway. So I'm actually going to bring in Lapras one more time. And while Lapras is in the party, I'm going to fully heal. That's okay, I don't mind that. I know! Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to heal a Max Revive on Charizard. Yeah. Then, I'm going to pull Lapras out of the group and throw in Charizard. <laughs> okay, so now we bring in Charizard, and Charizard is going to come in to take care of Ninetales. And it's fire versus fire, Charizard has got a good enough defense that this should actually go pretty well. But I'm still going to use Slash. We're, we've got still got a lot of potions, that, or excuse me, a lot of max heals that we can use. And really, this shouldn't be that bad. It's just going to take some time. Confuse no more, that's fine. So, now we can actually heal him up. Tail Whip is fine, that's great with me. And so, just a few more slashes. Now, it's still going to look like it takes about four slashes to rip through Ninetales, but Charizard is now confused, and of course it hurts itself. So we are going to have to use that Max Heal. So here's that Max Potion on Charizard, okay. And that's great, so now all of a sudden Charizard is capable of withstanding a few hits. So let's use a Max Potion on Lapras as well. Yeah, believe it or not, we are actually going to need Lapras for the next party member that comes out. So let's try Slash. And see if Slash actually works. Charizard's confused, but it still hit it anyway. That's great. So can we do it again? Confuse no more, Slash, and Ninetales is down. Perfect. Now. And Pikachu grows to level 47. That could not be better. Hey, that's great, man. Out comes Jolteon. First off, I'm going to give it a try, knowing full well that Jolteon is just going to eat through Charizard. This could be horribly bad, but I would like the idea that Charizard is actually... Hey, perfect! And fully paralyzed, okay. He missed. Flamethrower. We, this may go a whole lot easier than expected. That's great. Let's try it one more time. Oh my word, that was the fastest I have ever beaten Jolteon. 
perfect. No, I mean perfect, man. Who would have ever guessed? Wow! I did that as kind of a joke, and um, it worked. We have now beat Gary, and we have become the league champion. Man, that's great! Uh, I don't know, man. I'm kind of surprised, too. No, you didn't. I think you just got outclassed. Uh, you did very well, man. Professor Oak? <clears throat> uh, I did. Yeah, I know, man. I'm kind of shocked, too. I was not expecting that last bit to go that way. Well, you know, Pikachu was very good. You can't be disappointed in him. I'm surprised. Yeah, he lost. No, it had nothing to do with trust and love. Okay, uh, okay, fine. I'm just going to nod and agree, because right now you're making no sense to me. I get the whole I love my Pokemon, he doesn't thing, but that was a fluke win. You know that, right? Hey, I'll take that. That's, that's fine with me. And so now we are about to see which Pokemon have been part of the Hall of Fame. Great, man. So who do we have? We have got a level 50 Venusaur. Man, that's perfect. And there is our level 43 Blastoise. Oh, see, that's so nice. Right on, man. Level 47 Pikachu. And here's our level 48 Charizard. If you wanted a Lapras, there it is, our level 45 Lapras. And who is rounding out the party? Yeah, right on. There's our level 48 Pidgeot. And so now we are the best there ever was. We did very well. Yes, we did. Oh, but wait a minute. There is still a lot of Pokemon we haven't seen. And quite a few we haven't evolved and all kinds of stuff. But for now... This is the closing credits. So Satoshi Tajiri, excuse me, and the rest of everybody involved at Game Freak. This is definitely a labor of love for every one of these guys. A small group of programmers started out, and just due to lack of money and lack of funding, and a lot of time spent, that small group became even smaller. Pokemon Yellow is basically a thank you to all the fans for their purchase and their support of Pocket Monsters Red and Pocket Monsters Green. And this is what happens when you take that revolution and ask the fans what they want and then give that revolution to the fans. This is the cellophane revolution. Every single person involved in this game definitely deserves their thanks and support. They have done a wonderful job for what is easily my favorite of any Pokemon game, and definitely the best out of all of the Generation 1 games. And so we go through the programmers, character design, special thanks to everybody, let's be honest, and Super Mario Club. Okay. And there's our closing copyrights and the end. Hey, now, wait a minute, though. Oh, look at that. See, we actually haven't gone through the hassle of trying to find a Lickitung. You know, I remember seeing this little girl who said, Hey, I'll trade you something for this Lickitung. Well, we never got the opportunity to catch that Lickitung. So, now what? I guess we're going to continue the game, even though we've seen the closing credits, even though we've seen all of it. Okay, well, I tell you what, let's see if we can. But until then, this has been Rev taking you through Pokemon Special Pikachu Edition. Thanks for watching, till next time.